Hello, my name is Patrick Bourne. I'm a technical marketing engineer for Cisco. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to associate a WBPN Wi-Fi in bridge with a SPA IP phone. Firstly, I'll need power, either 5 or 12 volts for the WBPN. I only need one power source because it will um, act as a master-slave relationship with the phone. So in other words, I power this device and it in turn powers the phone via its power output. So a perfect device to power it, it would be the SPA IP phone power as uh, optional power supply which supplies 5 volts. When I initially supply power to it, the system LED will flash uh, for about 30 seconds. Watch. So attach the supply, it flashes and will continue to flash for about 30 seconds. Now that the system LED is burning solidly, this indicates to me that the WBPN is now ready for is now operational and ready for configuration. I can configure this device in one of two ways. One is accessing its web user interface. I need to know its IP address, of course, to do that, and then configuring it manually. Or my favorite way is simply pressing the WPS button, which will um, associate it automatically with the wireless access point. It's a long push, roughly a second, two seconds, and I'll demonstrate. Pressing now. Pressing. You notice the WPS LED flashes and the wireless LAN activity, and it'll flash. I've now got about two minutes to press the WPS button on my access point. My access point is right here, so I'll press and hold, and you'll notice that its LED burns green as well. There'll be activity for a little bit, and then once, if this association is successful, the WPS LED will burn solidly. Now that the WPS LED is burning solidly, I know that I can connect it to the phone. This device is ready and operational. So connecting it to the phone is really easy. What I have here is a SPA uh, 514 gigabit um, phone, one of our newer models, and it's currently running power over Ethernet. Well, only an Ethernet cable is connected, so I'm going to disconnect that and drop it. I don't need any more network cables. WBPN is still running. Take the power from the WBPN and the RJ45, which is a 10100, and um, connect, the, connect the network connection to the phone. Supply power to the phone from the, from the WBPN, and the phone starts booting up. You can see the LEDs are changing color, and the WBPN is still running. It doesn't have to run. I could, of course, power it off if I wanted to. Now is the good part. Take off the back cover of the phone. Capture the WBPN. Notice there's grooves in the stand that allows the cables to get through. Attach the phone, the stand back to the phone like that. Neaten up the cables a little bit, just by tucking them away. And now I have one single cable coming to the phone. That's the power supply, the 5 volt power supply. And um, the WBPN supplies the network connectivity to the phone, so no additional network cables are needed. At this point, the phone is displaying initializing network because it's performing a DHCP request uh, looking for an IP address. The IP address that the phone is going to get is different to the IP address of the WBPN. The WBPN only has an IP address if you want to use it to access its uh, web user interface. There's no other need for you to worry about its network. It can be on a different network as well. While I've been speaking, you'll notice the phone is already booted up and it's registered a green LED. And I can prove that it's working by dialing another phone. Dial it. And there is another phone. And now we, and we now have a, a working phone. And again, there's no network beside the wild, uh, WBPN's network connection.